So Pokemon Sun and Moon. What if Pokemon, but bigger? And he got like, I, I think, I, I don't remember what this Pokemon called, but like the big kahunas, whatever. And what if the Pokemon, but bigger, Sword and Shield Gigantamax? Uh, what if Pokemon, but bigger, Alpha? Yeah, those existed. What if Pokemon, but bigger, and then the Titans? <laughs> They have been using that same mechanic for quite a while now, but people just like it when the Pokemon are bigger. It, it shows that they're more powerful. I don't know. What if Noble, but bigger? <laughs> no, 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 okay. Regardless though, welcome back to some Pokemon meme videos here. I'm your host today, Noble of Lost Paws. Come along here and bring your Pokemon snap cameras. We're gonna have a journey of all the cringiest and greatest memes out there. <laughs> Make sure to tip your bus driver with a like and subscribe. Let's go. I'll have a, let me think, a Pikachu. How original. Oh yeah, also a Charizard. Daring today, aren't we? <laughs> it's the same. Well, they managed to find a way to include a Pikachu and a Charizard on one character out there. I, I mean, I'm not like super surprised here. I knew that Pikachu would somehow weasel its way in there, but it's like Commander Pikachu. He's cooler now. He's got like the Commander thing going on there. <laughs> People really liked my Commander Carl, which was, you know, Charizard with the Commander hat on. <laughs> I mean, look at that. He's cool. They really liked his character. My players liked him too, so that was fun. Lost Paws 2, by the way. Who hits harder? A psycho pink gremlin who wields a giant hammer that's literally made from its enemy's remains. Or burr. Yeah, the fighting flying burr is that thing is crazy good. <laughs> Chattingo is what that thing is. Honestly, it's really powerful for a flamingo. And I really thought that the gremlin with a huge hammer would hit extremely hard, but it's like its worst stat. It makes it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So this is actually in the Pokemon manga. Uh, we love Pokemon, a case of Poke love. That's the last bath I'll take with my tentacle. Wait, what a bath with that? Hey, yo, what the? Hey, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hey, hey, yo. Yo, the Pokemon manga don't hold nothing back, man. Um, uh, you know, there's some ladies out there like some tentacles, all right? That's all I'm gonna say. They, they really, they really like them cool tentacles, man. I mean, I'm not gonna kink shame you if you like tentacles, I guess. I mean, that's, that's your decision, okay? Point of view, you bought the DLC. Zahando, a racist scarlet and violet save file. <laughs> oh no, I've been hearing a lot about that lately. Apparently, yes, the DLC or whatever have you can somehow erase your save file if you do something like that. Like, that's terrible. So yeah, this meme is more of just a warning if you've bought the DLC for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, like, um, could be some bad things. Wait for like a patch to come out to fix that. Kid asked how I know about Pokemon, so I explained it came out when I was his age. Him? Okay, Boomer. But I'm a millennial. Okay, millennial Boomer. <laughs> like, you piece of crap right there. <laughs> I freaking dare you, you son of a gun. Uh, why would you be so cruel, man? I was the first to play Pokemon Blue. It, it came out when I was a kid. The card games, everything, man. And, and everyone's just like, Noble, you're too old. You're too old now. Cheeto's probably going, hey, Noble, what's your age, Noble? What's your age, Noble? Yo, damn! damn. He does that every time. He's such a little sh -a -sh. Hey, man. Just be yourself, honestly. It's fine to like what you like, no matter what your age is. If you like anime at the age of 84, God, that's damn. freaking cool, dude. <laughs> My friend went to an onsen in Japan that advertised fun with Lapras, and this is what she got. Oh my god. <laughs> Lapras rubber duckies. <laughs> Holy smokes. That's cool at all, but it, it, it's just missing the giant Lapras float. Uh, that you can lounge on, and they would be honestly perfect. I feel like this is something that me and Ashley would try when we go to Japan, but, uh, well, uh, we'd be a little bit sad. Sorry, ma'am. No past gens beyond this point. <coughs> Aw, Apom. Where am I gonna find another Pokemon with a face as charming as yours? <coughs> and while Daru, uh, Maka appears with the same face, and all right, get out of here. <laughs> all right, get out of here. Yeah, a lot of Pokemon have, like, that derpy face, dude, okay? Mudkip, look at that, that beautiful son of a gun's face right there, my Mudkip. It's hard to beat something like that, but I do realize there's a lot of Pokemon with the derp face. I, I know there's a lot of derp mons. So Medicham out there seems to be uh, getting rid of some backpacks, glasses, and other things like that, but also seems to be trying to lift up a skirt <laughs> with a Marilyn Monroe style. Wait a minute, Medicham. 
I think Brock's looking over that direction because he's a little distracted himself. I still think it's funny that the Pikachu going through like the girl's skirt, I think was cut out of like some American releases and stuff like that. I, I think that's like dumb, man. There's nothing weird about that. You don't see anything. You don't uh, make a weird Pokemon. Come on. Nah, the Pokemon community wildin' for this. And yeah, it's Ash with all of his Pokemon waifus out there, except I guess Misty. <laughs> I see the Latias there too that you put there. I mean, currently he's kind of with Misty. I'm, I'm not gonna lie in the anime. So things are looking pretty good for Misty and or Brock, I suppose. <laughs> If you guys don't know the reference, so that is from Xenoblade. Very famous scene where he just has all of his waifus. All that, yes, he Rex had three wives. Crazy mad lad. The mad lad did it. He actually turned into a Giga Chad. Me getting ready to shiny hut a Caterpie in Pokemon Sleep. <laughs> just immediately out right away there. Can you really shiny hunt? How like you gonna shiny hunt in Pokemon Sleep? Is that really something that we're capable of doing in this day and age. I don't know. When you realize that you've been people's waifu for 20 years. Dang, Gardevoir's an old Pokemon. <laughs> I didn't realize Gardevoir's been out there for 20 years now. That's probably older than some of my audience. <laughs> now I'm feeling like that old meme again. Oh no. Charizard and Pikachu knowing that they'll somehow be in every game in region. What's up? <laughs> Ayo, right back at you, homie out there. Peak Pokemon design, you can't really beat it. They're just legendary and iconic for a reason, you know? Well, not really legendary. You know, they're not the real legendary Pokemon like Mewtwo, but you, you're just legendary in terms of, you know, iconic. Me trying to psychically talk to the Pokemon in game to not break out of the Pokeball. Just, I'm holding down the B button. Stay in there. Don't break out. I don't have enough money to buy more. <laughs> I mean, so many people try to do the stupid holding down the B button trick or whatever other tricks there are out there. It does literally nothing. It does nothing. Sir, we found the person who made the Vaporeon copy pasta. Hey, we have a problem, Oh? I have a problem. What are you, Mr. McNeil? have a problem. What, what are you doing? You're in the parking lot. You're you stay here! Yeah, you stay here with Stephanie! So you take me to him! Take me to the <laughs> son of a bitch! Take me to him! Come on! <laughs> the go, classic! Go, 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 go. I know so many people that would want to change that history, man. Go back in RC's time to get rid of that man who made that Vaporeon copy pasta. You know, the thing is, though, if he didn't do it, someone else was gonna make some copy pasta and ruin some other Pokemon. It, it was only a matter of time. How Lickitung fights with a Vanillite and it just licks it. Yeah, that seems pretty effective, probably like it. Versus Diglett, I don't like where that's going. Uh, Fungus, okay, yeah, Fungus Among Us. Pharaoh Seed, ow, that hurts. Uh, Grimer, that has to be really disgusting and you know, I it just licks every Pokemon. That's so weird. Like, I don't know how I'd feel about a Pokemon that has to, like, taste every single thing out there. <laughs> Probably not gonna be the best thing in the world. No, you can't just abandon me. I'm literally your son. Haha, <laughs> time machine go burr. <laughs> The parents literally chose science over their own kid. I don't know what else to say, man. It, it just is what it is. Just learn that Zarina can only evolve when she learns Stomp. She's literally this step on me Pokemon. Yes. I had no idea until I played Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I was like, okay, Zarina, let's, um, let's evolve this thing. Like, how do you evolve this? And it's like, oh yeah, she needs to learn Stomp. And I'm like, really? <laughs> like, Pokemon. You know what you're doing out there. It's not really Zarina that's evolving. I think it's Bound Sweet tuned into a Zarina, but you know what I mean. If I don't specify that, you know, the YouTube comment section gonna get on me again. No, but you messed up. Don't worry. I'm sure I already messed up somewhere in this video. Pretty excited about Pokemon Sleep here. Man, what a day. Time to get some well-earned rest. Gotta be up bright and early tomorrow. Uh, good night, Registeel, <laughs> as you just sleep with your homie, You're just right next to you. Hey, yo, what about Wailord? That thing coming next to you out there. I mean, apparently it's as light as like a blimp or something like that. Or maybe it's actually super... Actually, how how heavy is a Wailord? Okay, yeah, 877 pounds. Okay, so yeah, that would absolutely destroy you if that thing rolled over. <laughs> Those Pokemon paintings in the background are giving me strength right now, and it's... I mean, I like the little classroom, the art class with all like the kitty paints and then the ditto. Art at its finest out there. Probably the hardest one to draw ever. I mean, I like that. They probably pulled that from like real uh, fan arts that kids have sent in and I think that's great. I really like this. So it's a Mimikyu, but it's um, 
It's a fat Pikachu, baby. <laughs> it's a chunky Mimikyu. I think that's amazing. I like that. I mean, I like Mimikyu out there. I even have a, a Mimikyu Eevee in there. It, you'll have to trust me. It's in there somewhere. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Thank you guys so much for enjoying the Pokemon meme videos out here. I love Put me some Pokemon. It's great. I I've still plan on playing Pokemon Black and White next to one live on my Twitch channel, too. That's gonna be fun. I mean, I just beat uh One Piece Odyssey, which was an amazing game, by the way, and I beat Hogwarts Legacy too. So now I need to find a new game. Might be one of those. Don't know, but I think I'm probably gonna play at least Holocure first here. Regardless, though, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yo, slam that like button for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time.